Hello and thanks for joining me here on my video today. So today we're going to be looking at Google Keep, which is one of my favourite Google applications for keeping organised. So many of you will know I'm OCD and I'm very, I very, you know, I really like keeping things organised and having a list to complete to make me feel like I've accomplished something. So Google Keep is a perfect Google application for this. So this is going to be a little series I'm going to do showing you all the little uh, features and functions of the program. I'm not going to do it all in one video because it will bombard you, but uh, we're going to do a few videos looking at some different things in here that I really like. So, first thing I'm going to show you how to do is actually access Google Keep. So, there's two ways you can do it. So, in any of your Google applications, you'll see the Google Apps menu up here, or the Waffle menu is what I call it. Um, and you can go on there and look for Google Keep. Now, it might not be here for you, it might be slightly further down. But scroll down, you're looking for the Google Keep icon here. Alternatively, you can type an Omnibox up here, Keep google.com click enter and it will take you straight to your google keep home screen which is like this now you may not have any notes in here right now i've got a few on here to demonstrate but you might not have anything here so the first thing you're going to want to do is take a note using this bar at the top so i can take a note up here by clicking straight in uh, one thing that does annoy me it doesn't uh, take you to the title straight away it takes you to the notes you do actually have to click on title up here um, to enter the title in. Now, this is what you'll see appear at the top, just like this, where I've got to-do list and shopping list. So, in here, I'm going to put Google Keep Demo. Now, I might want to just write some notes, if it's a meeting or if it's um, something I need to remember. I just want to take notes from what someone's saying. This will be a perfect place to write those notes down. Now, I'm going to close this off just for a minute. And you'll see I have some other uh, buttons up here as well. So I've got new lists. So this is something with a checkbox like you see I've got here. It creates a list with checkboxes on. So you can create lists of things you might have to do. You've got the option to have a new note with a drawing, which will take you into almost like a Google Drawings page here, which you can use um, and add to your notes. So you can actually draw things if you're more of a visual learner, more of a you have to sort of doodle and scribble things down. This is a perfect way for you to do that. So you can write as well as draw on here and put grids and tables in. So it's a really nice feature that Google keeps integrated within their services. And the last one here is new note with an image. So I can actually select an image from my computer. So I might want to select uh, this My EdTech Buddy um, image here. So I'm going to do a little plug for that for my good friend Darren White. So I can add images to my notes as well, and I can scroll down and just put in here at my ed tech buddy app. Okay, so you should definitely go and check that out if you haven't already. Uh, check it out on Twitter at my, at my ed tech buddy. Okay, uh, check out what they've got going on, but you can just see how they appear in here. Now you can see the two I've created here, the one with the image and the one uh, that says Google Keep Demo. Now, they're not at the top at the moment, You'll see I've got a pinned icon up here, so I can put the most important or the ones I use most frequently as a pin, just by hovering over and hitting this little pin note. And you can unpin and pin those at any time you want. There's no, you know, you don't have to wait a certain amount of time. You can do it as often or as little as you like. And something else I really like, if the lists aren't in the right order for you, you can drag and drop them really simply and easily just by clicking and dragging around. Okay, so this is my first video on Google Keep. Please uh, subscribe, hit the like button so you can see the next uh, set of videos for Google Keep. I'm going to look at um, in, in the future how to change the colors of these notes, how to share them with people so you can work collaboratively, and also how to uh, remind you at certain locations of your certain notes, which is really cool. So if you haven't already, make sure you download this app on your mobile device. It's available on um, all Android and Apple phones. Um, so make sure you uh, make sure you download that. Hit subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you next time. Take care.